Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ali Mansour and today I'm going to start a new series of videos in which I will speak about the dental anatomy at a glance. I decided to start these videos because we are entering a new level in, in our study in which includes uh, composite fillings and we know that carving of the filling and restoring the normal anatomical landmarks is very important for that we have to know the normal anatomical landmarks so today I'm going to start with the first tooth with it, which is the permanent maxillary central incisor the permanent maxillary central incisor we will talk about the right one has three aspects the facial labial aspect the lingual aspect and the incisal aspect we will start with the facial labial aspect the facial or labial aspects aspect sorry first we can see the proximal contacts which are two mesial proximal contact and the distal proximal contact the mesial proximal contact as you can see in the picture it is located at the incisal third while the distal proximal contact located at the junction of the incisal and middle third the second thing we can see is the mesio incisal angle which is sharp right angle as you can see it is uh, pointed in the red color while the distal incisal angle is slightly rounded the uh, next thing we can see is the facial aspect of the maxillary central incisor, the permanent one, has four loops. Now with the lingual aspect, as we can see, we have the, uh, the first thing is the marginal ridges, which are moderate, and the cingulum, which is moderately pronounced, and the fossa, which is moderately deep. So we have three things, the marginal ridge, the cingulum, and the fossa. Now with the incisal aspect, what we can see, we can see that the outline of the tooth, when we look at it incisally, is triangular. And the second thing, we can see that labially, we can see that the tooth it is slightly convex. Now we have some keynotes about the maxillary permanent central incisor. The first thing is that is the crown length which is 10.5 millimeter the second the crown width mesiodistally is 8.5 millimeter and the root length is 13 millimeter and finally we will talk about the chronology uh, eruption of the tooth will occur at the age of 7 to 8 years and the root completed at the age of 10 years uh, that's all for the maxillary central incisor we talked about the right one so uh, for this tooth the most important note is to uh, recognize the mesio incisal angle angle and the distal incisal angle because the mesio incisal angle is a sharp one while the distal incisal angle is a rounded one so uh, if uh, we have a, a prosthetic tooth we can distinguish between the right and the left central incisor now for the reference uh, these informations were taken from the Wheeler's dental anatomy physiology and occlusion nothing which uh, was included from the uh, web or the internet all the informations are found in this book and thank you for watching